Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are playing with La Prairie Translucent Loose Powder. This is something new to bake with. And to set my makeup, it's $100. It is, I mean, every time I say like $100 for a powder, especially, that just feels really, really ridiculous. Um, but this is, you know, from a line that everything I have tried, I almost want to say unfortunately, just because, you know, Unfortunately, I want to spend all my money on La Prairie products because they are so freaking good. So I have tried a tinted moisturizer. I also tried their Caviar Skin Foundation that comes with a concealer and that foundation is so, so good. I save it for special occasions because it's a $200 foundation. So today I'm just wearing my favorite Milani drugstore um, hidden gem that I'm still obsessed with. And uh, we are going to apply concealer. I'm going to bake underneath the eyes and I'm going to set my foundation with this powder. It is a translucent powder. It does come in two shades, however, a light and then a medium. I did pick up the light because I wanted it to be as translucent and see-through and clear as possible so that I could bake with it. And let's just go ahead and open up the package. You get two ounces in here. You also get a travel guide, which is already pre-filled for you, so that's kind of cool to keep in your purse, travel with, on the go. Powder is something that you do reach for a lot as far as touch-ups, and you know, whenever I travel anywhere, I have to have loose powder because that is my favorite thing to bake with, and it is kind of a big pain in the butt to carry a giant jar like this. So I do appreciate that you get the mini. You do get a decent amount of product. I want to compare the La Mer powder, this is called The Powder, and you get, wow, you don't even get an ounce in here. What? Why did I think that that was so like, like a lot of product? Okay, so La Prairie is winning on the amount of product you get straight out the gate. I do completely love the La Mer, the powder. I want to give you guys a heads up. They are discontinuing the powder. They are discontinuing the concealer. It's a sad day for me because this is something I discovered doing the WTF series that I completely fell in love with. But hopefully I will enjoy this La Prairie powder to have a big huge crush on that will still be sold. So you get a velour puff in here. I love that. Love applying loose powder with a velour puff. So you have two ways of dispensing the product. You can actually pour it out generously, probably to refill your little travel guy through this side, or you can just use the sifter. So that's a nice feature. This is how light the powder is. It is translucent. Usually with translucent powders, because they brush off and they don't leave any color behind, anybody can use them. So that's what I tend to lean toward with loose powders. I don't want to add any color or alter the color of my concealer or foundation. So I always go with translucent with the exception of the Cody Airspun powders that do leave a little bit of color behind, but not much. Somehow with those, I find it acceptable. So what I'm gonna do right now is zoom you guys in and I'm going to apply my concealer, apply my bake, and we will go from there. So I'm gonna continue on doing my normal thing where I take my very favorite concealer. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind, the neutralizer. It is almost time for a new one. I use this every single day. All right, I am going to take this underneath the eye, a little bit down, do the typical like, highlighty triangle action and I like working one eye at a time recently I feel like that helps minimize any creasing so I'm going to go in with my dampened beauty blender and I am just going to start dabbing and because I have been getting zero to no sleep recently. I also like to go into a thicker concealer. This is the La Mer in medium. You can take any thicker concealer and just grab a little bit on the tip of your beauty blender. And I like to just kind of dab in right in the areas where I get a little bit darker. Then I flip my sponge around. Now that I have everything perfectly smooth, I'm gonna go in to the powder. I'm gonna take some into the lid. And this is where I like to switch up my sponge. I'm just showing you all the detailed stuff that I do. This is not necessary. I'm crazy. I know I like to do all these weird detail things. And what I'm going to do is take my black beauty blender. This is a little bit firmer. I like packing on powder with this particular sponge. 
I'm going to pick up a very generous amount. I'm not joking, very generous amount of the powder. And I am going to make the famous earlier face and pack this on here. With the excess that I have on the sponge, I'm gonna wipe a little bit off on my hand, and then I am gonna go down here, all the way through the chin. I get oily there, so we'll pack on a little bit more right here. <laughs> just a little, you know, just a little extra. Um, and I'm gonna get down the bridge of the nose as well. Everywhere else, I'm gonna just dust powder lightly because I don't want it to look heavy everywhere. I just wanna set the areas that get more oily for me and of course set my concealer so that it does not crease at all. So moving on to the other eye, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Recently, I have been letting my bake fully sit for, gosh, 15 minutes. I will actually get up and go and answer emails and do something else and let the powder just cook into my face, become really warm with my skin, mesh together with that concealer, and it does make a world of a difference if you actually do take that time. Not that you have to. You don't have to do this every day of your life. I do have meetings today um, over at Google, so I'm gonna look good all day long. So I'm gonna let this sit and cook and do its thing, um, and I will be right back. Ow! In 15 minutes. And now it has been 15 minutes with the magic of editing. So I obviously put on some lipstick. I'll list the products I used below. I did use a little bit of bronzer, and now I am ready to kick off my bake. I like to use the ambient uh, powders from Hourglass. I'm using the shade Dim Light, and I'm just grabbing this on a smaller brush. This is from Clover, and I then kick off the powder almost downward a little bit. And it's important that you have some kind of product on your brush. You want everything to glide and kick off. So I'm kicking off the excess and adding a little bit of glow at the same time because that powder has a little bit of a sheen to it. We're gonna kick off what's on the nose. Same thing over here. This is really beautiful, you guys. Like it is giving me like the nicest, smoothest highlight. So my makeup is 100% done. However, if you hear crows in the background, I have no idea what is going on. This never happens. It's really kind of creeping me out. Um, there are like a flood of them flying around the window. Ooh, ah, I don't like it. What I do love is this powder. It feels, if a powder could be firming, this feels firming. I know you guys are gonna like give me crap for that, but I don't care. I love everything firming and this just feels really, really nice. I feel mattified, but I don't feel cakey, like at all. I don't feel cakey at all. It is incredible. My concealer is completely smooth. I didn't do anything differently. I used the same concealer I always use, the same foundation, primer, all the same stuff. So I can see a difference already. Ah, they're all flocking my way. What the hell? Uh, uh. Right, so I'm gonna go about my day and I have a few meetings. I'm gonna, you know, do check-ins and all of that jazz. I am so distracted by the crows. Um, I will see you guys in a little bit. It has been about three hours of wear so far. My eyes are not like creasing at all. It's crazy. It's kind of tripping me out a little bit, but this is not caking up. It's not creasing. I have been chatting. I have been laughing. I've been making tons of facial expressions and still zero creasing. And it even feels really soft. So I have to say so far, I really, really love this. I feel like it gives a very similar effect to the La Mer the powder, except for the La Mer the powder has just a teeny bit of almost an apricot sheen to it. If you look really, really closely, like at your fingertip, if you swatch the powder, you can see just a little bit of shine, which is really beautiful on the skin. This one 
is just completely matte. There is no shine, but it does not make you look cakey, and I love it. So far, La Prairie cannot go wrong in my book. I haven't tried any of their skincare, and the fact that I love so much of their makeup is only making me go, maybe I need an eye cream from them, maybe a night serum. Um, let me know if you've tried very expensive items from this range, they're all expensive. Let me know, <laughs> scratch that rewind. If you have tried some of their skincare and it has worked out, leave that in the comments, please, because I'm so just even more curious about this line now. I'm gonna go run, do some errands. I'm gonna go out and about and I will check in with you guys in just a little bit. How cute are these phone cases? Is it out of control that <laughs> this one that says best friends is like drawing me in with the donut? Maybe that's a gluten-free donut, maybe, I don't know. I think these are cute. Wow, this is scary. I was saying, don't stress out about things, and I started singing Frozen, and I was like, let it go, let it go. And James turned it into, let it go. <laughs> My lovely. <laughs> oh, won't you let it go. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> I said that in a video, like, last week. That's why you Good. thought of that song, yeah. Oh, okay. So, it looks like it's gonna rain. That's really all that's interesting right now. Let me zoom you in so you can see how excellent. You're having a really great makeup Look day. Look at that. No creasing. No, no creasing. So good. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. So we have made it to the end of the day. I have been cleaning out my makeup collection, swatching, um, playing, which is one of my most favorite things to do. I just love swatching makeup so much. Um, my point with that is I haven't just been like kicking back, watching TV, resting and not moving around and letting my powder basically do nothing. Like I have made my powder work for me. I have been able to see with me really going at it with an active day if this held up or not. And I am super, super amazed. The only thing that I've touched up on my face right now is I added some more gloss on and that's about it. So the fact that this powder held up with everything and kept everything from kind of blotching off all day long, it's a super thumbs up, but also, and I like every check-in, I kept saying this, the bake did such a nice job without looking too overly stark or overly highlighty. I just, I love how this looks. I really hope that when I look at the footage in the computer that I'm like wowed by that as well because sometimes what I see in the mirror in real life is different than what translates through the camera. But sitting here right now, I have to say, I love the way this looks. You could be sitting right next to me and I mean, like you can't see any creases. It's really, really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed tagging along with me throughout my day and seeing how this product wore. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share the video. That always helps me out so much. And also leave a comment because I really love hearing from you guys. And I do obsess over the comments all the time. I read everything, I kid you not. So um, tell me hi below in the comment section. And I hope you're having a good one. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Yeah.